Good morning. So we're going to read from uh, Psalms 18 this morning. We're going to read a good chunk and a fair bit here. So bear with me, okay? I'm probably just going to pull up his screen wrong. Um, starting in verse 3, um, it says, I called on the Lord who is worthy of praise, and he saved me from my enemies. The ropes of death entangled me. Floods of destruction swept over me. The grave wrapped its ropes around me. And death laid a trap in my path. But in my distress, I cried out to the Lord. Yes, I prayed to my God for help. He heard me from his sanctuary. My cry to him reached his ears. Then the earth quaked and trembled. The foundations of the mountains shook. They quaked because of his anger. Smoke poured from his nostrils. Fierce flames leaped from his mouth. Glowing coals blazed forth from him. He opened the heavens and came down. Dark storm clouds were beneath his feet. Mounted on a mighty angelic being, he flew. Soaring on the wings of the wind, he shrouded himself in darkness, veiling his approach with dark rain clouds. Thick clouds shielded the brightness around him and rained down hail and burning coals. The Lord thundered from heaven. The voice of the Most High resounded amid the hail and burning coals. He shot his arrows and scattered his enemies. Great bolts of lightning flashed, and they were confused. Then, at your command, O Lord, at the blast of your breath, the bottom of the sea could be seen, and the foundations of the earth were laid bare. He reached down from heaven and rescued me. He drew me out of deep waters. He rescued me from my powerful enemies, from those who hated me and were too strong for me. They attacked me at a moment when I was in distress, but the Lord supported me. He led me to a place of safety. He rescued me because he delights in me. Let's jump down to uh, verse 31. For who is God except the Lord? Who but our God is a solid rock? God arms me with strength, and he makes my way perfect. He makes me as sure-footed as a deer, enabling me to stand on mountain heights. He trains my hands for battle. He strengthens my arm to draw a bronze bow. You have given me your shield of victory. Your right hand supports me. Your help has made me great. <coughs> you have made a wide path my feet to keep them, to keep them from slipping. I chased my enemies and caught them. I did not stop until they were conquered. I struck them down so they could not get up. They fell beneath my feet. You have armed me with strength for the battle. You have subdued my enemies under my feet. You placed my foot on their necks. I have destroyed all who hated me. They called for help, but no one came to, to their rescue. They even cried to the Lord, but he refused to answer. I ground them as fine as dust in the wind. I swept them into the gutter like dirt. You gave me victory over my accusers. You appointed me ruler over nations. People I don't even know now serve me. Um, so this is all in the same chapter of Psalms 18. Uh, there's a couple of verses there that are, I think some of us will recognize, you know, maybe not in this version, but um, it's, uh, there's, there's some popular verses out of there. Um, so two big chunks, same chapter. Same, same theme, same song, actually, right? These are songs, these are prayers. The Psalms is a prayer book. Um, and it's interesting because we see two different things happening. So in the first chunk, 3 through 19, in the first portion, the writer's in trouble. He prays to God, and God saves him in spectacular fashion. He swoops in. The language here, the, the, the poetry of the language is just awesome, right? Um, you know, what, what does God do in this, right? If you ask, what, what is God doing in this, in this portion? Uh, well, there's smoke coming from his nostrils, fire in his mouth. He shrouds himself in darkness. He rains hail and burning coals. He, his voice is like thunder. He thunders from the heavens. Uh, he shoots arrows that scatter the enemies, uh, bolts of lightning. You know, it's just God being God. <laughs> just God being God, just coming in and just wiping the, the board clean. And um, verse 3 is probably the most succinct uh, summary of the whole thing. Um, it says, uh, let's see if I find my place here. Thank you. I called on the Lord who is worthy of praise, and he saved me from my enemies. 
I called, and he saved me. It was just like that. The, all that stuff in between, that, that's, that's, that, that verse right there says the whole thing, and then it just builds it out what that looks like. And it's terrifying, and it's awesome, and it's actually, it's exciting, right? Um, I called, and he saved me. Um, in the second portion, we see something different happening here. Um, so what does God do in this portion? He arms me with strength. He makes me as sure-footed as the deer. He trains my hands for battle. He strengthens my arms to draw a bow, and he gave me, you gave me your shield of victory. So while in the first section we have God saving the writer, in the second portion, God empowers the writer to fight. In the first section, we see God fighting the battle for, for the psalmist. In the second portion, he, he, he strengthens and he arms him to do hard things, to do difficult things. Um, <coughs> so sometimes God fights for us. Not sometimes God always fights for us. But sometimes God will take the fight completely out of our hands. And sometimes he's going to have you, he's going to empower you to do the fight. He's going to strengthen you to do the fight. Um, this can be uh, this can be a difficult thing. <laughs> this can be a difficult thing in a, in, a, in a few different in a few different ways. So in the first thing is knowing which is which kind of thing, right? Which it w in, in in particular situation that we're faced with, is this the sort of thing that God's going to take from our hands and we can just ask and rest, or is this the sort of thing that He's going to have us walk through? Um, even Jesus actually struggled in this sort of thing in the Garden of Gethsemane. He listened to his prayer. He goes, if, if it's your will, take this thing away from me. Take, don't take this cup away from me. He goes, nevertheless, not my will, yours be done. Nevertheless, if you want me to walk through this thing, I'll walk. Right? Um, so um, difficult in that, you know, not knowing exactly what God wants for that situation sometimes. Um, and I was thinking about it, it can be difficult kind of having faith one way or the other, to be honest. Um, so, depending on sort of maybe what kind of personality you are, um, some of us are like, oh, there's a problem, there's, a s there's a something to do, let's strap on our shoes and let's get to work. And um, resting can be quite difficult. Just trusting and resting, just taking hands off and going, God... I don't, I don't have the answer. I don't have the answer. I'm not the answer. And I need to just let you be God in this um, because I don't have the solution. Um, it can depend on what, this, what, the, what, the, um, what the task is, maybe, or what the s situation is, you know. Um, I have, you know, a fair bit of faith that if, you know, I in my job and where I work, if I get up and I do my best uh, and I ask God to work with me and to help me and to give me favor, that he'll do that. Um, but other different types of prayer requests, like, um, you know, I have a brother that's not, that's not, doesn't appear to have any faith, and, and those prayers, I, like, I just don't know, I don't know where to start, <laughs> I don't know where to begin, you know, it's just throwing that in God's hands and going, you know, please take this, please, please work in this, please, please work a miracle, right, so it, it maybe it can depend on the sort of situation that we're facing, um, maybe where we're at, you know, um, maybe we're at a time in our lives where we're just depleted. <laughs> maybe, maybe at some p point in our walk, we'd have strength for a certain thing, but at some point you're just, you're just weary. And maybe you just don't have the faith to be able to stand up and to walk through that thing. So, um, I think it can be difficult sort of knowing, like having faith for, I I faith for the rest or faith for the fight. Um, one, one thing I thought of is, uh, that I personally struggled with was faith just to receive grace, to just receive grace, you know. Um, there's nothing I can do to make myself worthy. There's nothing I can do to make myself go, ah, okay, now you can come in. You come right as we are, just messy and just as we are, and just receive that grace, you know. I'm, I'm, I forget which book of the Bible is, but Paul devotes a whole book to this, just saying, like, our works can't do it. Our works can't do it. There's, it's our works can't save us. It can't be. You know, when Christ said it is finished, that was his work finished. And we receive that. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Um, um, but 
it's an interesting thing in Christianity where the faith for that, it's like, ah, but I feel like I need to, I feel like I need to bring something to the table. I need to prove something. And God's just going, no, no, no. You just, you just receive that. You just receive that grace. Um, so faith, faith to just rest and receive grace. Um, yeah. Um, so yes. So faith, there's a certain kind of faith to just ask and rest. To really just go like, okay, God, I'm, I'm going to go hang back from this. I just, need you to so I just need you to be my solution. And then there's another kind of faith that goes, um, I wonder if God can really actually accomplish this thing through me. You know, you know, when I talk to people and I, I try to talk to them about, about give my testimony stuff, it's pretty, uh, you know, I, I don't even know if, if they understand what I'm saying so half the time. <laughs> but like, you know, those th that type of faith, like, can God really, really make a difference in this situation through me? It's a different sort of faith. Um, but if we look at the end of both portions, what happens? Uh, I'm going to go down to verse 14. Okay, so this is God sweeping in, right? He shot his arrows and scattered his enemies. Great bolts of lightning flashed, and they were confused. God comes in, God being God, and just the enemies defeated, the battles won. How could it not be, right? How could it not be? That with that that expression of power and God, and uh, but let's jump down to verse thirty-seven. <coughs> I chased my enemies and caught them. I did not stop until they were conquered. I struck them down so they could not get up. They fell beneath my feet, right? The result is actually the same. The enemy is put down, defeated, and it, the fight is left. The fight is done. So I want to encourage you with, what I, with whatever situations you're looking at and whatever that's going to look like as far as how we trust God and how God moves, I want you to encourage you the, the, the result is the same. The result is the same in that there's victory. Um, whether, he, whether God decides, this is, nah, this is my fight, you just rest. My, this is my fight, you just watch me. Watch me be God. God wins. If God says, no, no, I'm going to arm you and I'm going to strengthen you and I'm going to give you broad shoulders to endure and to march through this thing, you will win. He will win through you. So I just want to just encourage you and just stir up some faith. Let's put that back on God. Like the <laughs> life is big. Life is big sometimes. Um, <laughs> it's long sometimes. There's some, <laughs> I mean, being a parent, some days are just, long <laughs> and you're like god help me <laughs> um you know sometimes it's just you know everybody loves that that word that was that one fruit of the spirit long suffering awesome that's that's awesome that's that's what i want <laughs> right nobody ever prays for that um it's such a descriptive word long suffering long <laughs> um but i just want to encourage you um put your faith back on god he he has the answer whether it's him coming in and just you you just watch me be God. You just watch me take this and see what I do. You just you just you just watch. And then there's the other kind where God goes, I'm gonna I'm gonna strengthen you and we're gonna walk through this together. Um, but I want you to know that God has a good thing at the end, a good thing at the end of either of those. Um, and um, yeah, that's all I have for this morning. Let's uh, let's do church.